Toronto was growing and it's growing fast. New digital renderings show just how many new towers will pop up and transform the city's skyline as the population booms in the coming years. Toronto's population demographics estimates that 3.5 million people will call Toronto home by 2030, which is a 30% increase compared to today. As a result, many new towers will soon rise above the city. By 2030, there will likely be more tall buildings and super tall skyscrapers on the city skyline, as Toronto overtakes Chicago as the city with the second highest number of skyscrapers in North America. Today let's explore the upcoming super tall skyscrapers that will reshape Toronto's skyline. We will uncover the visionary designs and the remarkable engineering accomplishments behind these monumental projects. Prepare to be astonished by towering glass and steel giants that push the limits of height and innovation. Before we start don't forget to click on that subscribe button and like this video as it's the best way to support this channel. Let's start with one of the most highly anticipated super tall buildings. Pinnacle One Young is a mixed-use development currently under construction in Toronto. It will consist of six skyscrapers and out of them, the building known as Sky Tower is set to become Canada's tallest residential building. Sky Tower is projected to be around 100 stories tall. It is expected to be one of the most remarkable buildings in Toronto, especially since it is being constructed by Pinnacle International, one of Canada's leading condo builders. The initial designs shared reveal a structure that looks completely futuristic and modern. The best part is that it's not just about aesthetics, it is expected to offer residents unique indoor and outdoor activities. If everything proceeds as planned, the Sky Tower could become one of the most notable landmarks in Toronto. It wouldn't be an exaggeration to say that this building is single-handedly initiating the super tall trend in the Toronto skyline. That said, its construction faces its fair share of challenges. Although the project benefits from its proximity to Union Station and the waterfront, there is still a need to upgrade some fundamental infrastructure requirements. Water, sewer, and electrical systems all need to be brought up to modern standards, which represent significant costs for the municipality. As of today, only few stories have been completed, so there is still a long way to go. However, with the deadline of 2026, the developers are confident that they can finish the project on time. Regarding the costs involved, the exact investment figures aren't publicly available, but it's clear that constructing a titan of a building like this is far from cheap. It's no surprise that unit prices for this building are skyrocketing, ranging between $900,000 and $4 million. So, securing a spot in this building will certainly require a significant investment. Another popular super tall building currently under construction in Toronto is called The One. Once completed, it will be the tallest building in Canada. At 1,005 feet and 85 stories, it will be taller than First Canadian Place, which has been Canada's tallest building since 1975. This Titan will establish a new benchmark for commercial and retail accommodation in Canada. The mixed-use tower offers a perfect blend of residential, hotel, and retail spaces. At the top of the tower, a series of duplex penthouses will offer breathtaking views across Lake Ontario and beyond. Additionally, its design makes it stand out even more. It is nothing short of an engineering marvel, featuring great horizontal bands at regular intervals that mark the locations of mechanical floors. Even if the Toronto skyline becomes crowded with supertalls in the future, this building is bound to stand out. Plans for this building's construction date back to 2014, when the developer acquired the land for approximately $220 million. But the total cost was estimated to be around $1 billion during the planning stages, and this figure quickly ballooned to about $2 billion by the time of the receivership filing in October 2023. In 2023, construction on the skyscraper faced delays due to legal issues as the project accumulated approximately $1.2 billion in debt. 
Nevertheless, the tower is expected to open sometime in 2025, though the exact date remains unclear. Currently, it has surpassed the 150 meter threshold, achieving skyscraper status with 50 stories out of the planned 80 already completed. Progress appears to be well underway, but it will still be some time before people can enjoy all that this skyscraper has to offer. This next skyscraper is straight from the renowned Canadian architect, Frank Gehry. It marks his first venture into residential towers and is set to be his tallest building to date. The project actually consists of two skyscrapers featuring irregular height and angled positioning. Gary is enthusiastic about the project, noting his inspiration drawn from the city's traditional architecture. Toronto stands apart from other cities due to its unique light and heritage, which Gary aims to capture in this skyscraper. Located in Toronto's entertainment district, the project promises residents access to elegance and opulence, with everything they could desire at their fingertips. Despite its relatively small site, this skyscraper is poised to have a significant impact in the area. With shopping, cultural events, and dining options all within easy reach, the skyscraper is set to enhance the area substantially. Regarding construction progress, work has been ongoing since June 2023, and by December of that year, the site had been fully excavated with preparations underway for the complexes for levels of underground parking. As anticipated, completing such a skyscraper will take considerable time. Estimates suggest that the first tower of this project may not be completed until 2028 at the latest, with the second tower, which has yet to begin construction, likely finishing even later. While exact investment costs remain somewhat unclear, it's noteworthy that the project has already surpassed $1 billion in sales alone. The concept behind this next super tall building is to enhance Toronto's iconic skyline through exceptional and timeless design. The developers are focusing on creating functional office space alongside community services, retail outlets, and rental residential areas. Union Park East is the tallest of a massive four-tower complex proposed by Oxford Properties along Front Street West. The 60-story skyscraper designed by Pelly Clark is one of two office towers proposed for the site. With approximately 3.3 million square feet dedicated solely to office space, Union Park has the potential to become one of the largest office complexes in the area. But that's not all, one of Union Park's primary goals is to utilize green technologies. It is being designed not only to meet, but potentially exceed LEED Platinum standards, aiming for seamless integration with the surrounding neighborhood. As a result, residents can anticipate improvements in public spaces, increased green areas, and new path connections. The use of progressive design strategies is indeed intriguing and sets this super tall building apart from many others. The developers are prioritizing a sustainable future by integrating recycling, renewable energy, and sustainable building practices as standard features. The developers are ensuring that it meets contemporary expectations while minimizing its environmental footprint. Construction began in 2023 with completion expected around 2028 or 2029. However, implementing these sustainable technologies came at a cost. The Union Park project is estimated to carry a price tag of $3.5 billion. Nevertheless, the investment may prove worthwhile in the long run. Finally, there's another super tall building rising in Toronto that deserves much attention. The plans focus on transforming the low-rise retail properties at 18 and 19 Bloor Street West into groundbreaking new towers. This project could catalyze a major shift in urban development, converting more low-rise buildings into towering structures. The proposed building could soar as high as 94 stories, strategically positioned near several other prominent locations. With its potential impact on the skyline and urban landscape, this proposal can easily become a reality in the near future. If everything proceeds smoothly, this could become one of Toronto's tallest buildings. 
Currently, architectural elevation drawings have been drafted, but renders of the final design are still unavailable. As a result, the exact appearance of this massive super-tall structure remains unknown. It's becoming evident that the transformation in Toronto isn't just a passing trend, but a significant shift in architectural style and urban development that is here to stay. This trend towards skyscrapers and super-tall structures is likely to become the new norm across much of the city. Undoubtedly, the projects we discussed are engineering marvels, showcasing remarkable design and construction techniques. Beyond their aesthetic appeal, these developments will provide crucial housing options and contribute to the economic growth of their surrounding neighborhoods. But as Toronto's skyline evolves with these towering structures, legitimate concerns arise, particularly regarding issues like shadowing and affordability. The proliferation of luxury developments raises questions about accessibility for ordinary residents. Will these buildings cater only to the affluent, leaving average individuals without viable housing options? These are crucial considerations that must be carefully addressed. Despite these concerns, the concept of a futuristic Toronto skyline reaching new heights is undeniably intriguing. What are your thoughts on the upcoming skyscrapers in Toronto? Leave a reply in the comments section. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.